So third and final uh, example that I'd like to show you uh, is one of the shipping example in version 13. Um, um, if we type 5G, we'll see the number of 5G example uh, using the uh, 5G candidate waveform uh, modulation and demodulation block that I described earlier, as well as the uh, MBIOT. This is strictly not uh, 5G, uh, technically speaking. Uh, this is based on the release 13 uh, feature of MBIOT, but we expect the uh, IOT element to come into the phase two of the 5G specification in release 16, uh, which we expect to be largely uh, derivation from the MBIOT. Uh, therefore, we believe this is a very important uh, feature uh, in evaluating future MBIOT example. So we have several examples here where, where MBIOT is operating in the guard band, in band, as well as the uplink uh, co uh, coexistence uh, examples. So I'm going to sh show you this in band uh, example, kind of walk you through uh, the type of simulation you can do. So in this diagram, uh, we have the MBIOT reference uh, transmitter uh, based on release 13 uh, features and the corresponding receiver. On the top of the diagram, you'll see the uh, various configuration uh, for the NBIOT. Uh, this is actually quite a uh, involved uh, feature uh, where you have number of selections of the operating uh, subcarriers, everything from single carrier 3.75 kilohertz subcarrier with signal up to uh, 12 subcarriers of 15 kilohertz subcarrier widths. So in this case, uh, we have it set up so that to use 15, uh, 50 resource block as an allocated channel at 3.5 gigahertz, and we're using uh, subcarrier mode 8, which correspond to 12 subcarriers of 15 kilohertz subcarrier width. If you use uh, one of these uh, single carrier types, uh, you can actually select uh, the location of that single subcarrier within the resource block by providing a su SC subcarrier assign a parameter. And then MBILT underscore RB uh, selects which resource block you want to transmit your MBILT signal. So in this case, we're transmitting the MBILT signal on resource block number 15 out of the 50 uh, allocated uh, LTE channel. So in this diagram, we have the MBIOT transmitter, and this is going to be combined with the LTE uh, source, which is going to have a null in the resource block number 15. And this is easily uh, illustrated if we look at the uh, output spectrum. <coughs> and, and this shows you the, uh, the spectrum of both the LTE signal with the resource block number 15 nulled out and the MBILT um, operating at the resource block number 15. So using this system, you can look at by pl placing MBILT receiver as we have here, we can evaluate the impact of LTE signal into the MBILT signal and look at the bit error rate throughput and, and EVM performance and such. Uh, likewise, you can also replace the MBIOT receiver with LTE receiver and look at the impact of MBIOT on the LTE receiver and, and the signal and vice versa. So we believe this is a, a important uh, scenario to consider going forward as people develop uh, you know, low cost integrated MBIOT devices. Uh, this should be a we're hopeful, hopefully, this is a very useful test bench to evaluate those uh, MBIOT devices and product development going forward. So in this video, I walked, you th walked through uh, three uh, key examples using a 5G waveform library, uh, Verizon 5G example, and the MBIOT uh, example to show you some of the new uh, 5G-related uh, uh, features that we have in Visual System Simulator. Um, Hopefully this is useful for you. Uh, please let us know uh, if you have any interest in these uh, features. Uh, thank you for watching. For more information, please visit ni.com slash awr. Thank you.